The Game and Fish Department manages 222 wildlife management areas and just shy of 220,000 acres across North Dakota. Uh, all corners of the state and uh, all areas in between and in all shapes and sizes which makes for a, a wide diversity of wildlife management areas and opportunities for the public. William says the primary goals for the wildlife management areas are to raise wildlife and provide for related public use. At this time of year, fishing access is available at some WMAs, and wildlife viewing is a popular activity, but in order to ensure the safety of wildlife, the Game and Fish does not allow fireworks on WMAs. The Disruption associated with wildlife are on our wildlife management areas obviously is the number one goal is to, uh, to raise wildlife on there and uh, fireworks are not compatible with that. There are WMAs around the state that do allow camping for your enjoyment, but there are certain rules that apply. Williams also reminds people to pick up after themselves when leaving the WMAs. Just using common sense and you know being conscious about the area that you're in and uh, you know being looking after yourself and, and making sure that uh, we're doing the best we possibly can do for uh, for the for the other folks that are using that area. Over the years, Game and Fish has expanded options as far as management on WMAs, and about half have implemented controlled grazing practices. That's come more just be out of uh, you know increased education associated with how how wildlife and, and uh, cattle can be compatible and, and again there, there has to be some uh, a good grazing plan in place so both of our goals can be accomplished. Allowing strategic haying and grazing has provided some good opportunities to improve some of the areas and help build good relationships with neighbors to the wildlife management areas. This is Tom Jensen, Outdoors.